In this video, we're going to be undoing a mantle nut on a Terex 1000 cone crusher that is due for a remetalling. This is a new mantle liner. We need to cut close to where the mantle nut seats down on top of the liner without damaging the nut or the crusher head. You need to deform the mantle in a way that takes the pressure off the nut. The best way I find is to cut close to the mantle nut, half to three quarters deep to release the pressure. It's a good idea to have some water spraying down onto the discharge belt underneath the crusher so you don't burn a hole through it. These mantles have a hole where the backing flows out of, so we're going to start there to get the oxy going. I'm using a gouging tip because that's all I had, but normally I use a straight tip, they work a lot better. As a mantle wears, it spreads and pushes against the mantle nut, preventing the nut from coming undone. You cannot release a nut without cutting the mantle. I've seen a lot of different ways of cutting a mantle, but, they're, but they all have the same basics. You need to deform the mantle in a way that takes the pressure off the nut. The best way I find is to cut close to the mantle nut, right at the top of the mantle liner, half to three quarters deep to release the pressure. You only want to cut these with an oxy. You don't want to use anything with electricity because that can arc out on the bearings and damage them. The centre of your cut should be about 20mm away from the mantle nut. You need to do the cut in one smooth action and it shouldn't take any longer than 5 minutes to get around this one. If you take too long you'll heat the mantle and the nut up and it will work against what you're trying to do. As long as you stay just off the mantle nut and you don't cut through the mantle itself, you're not going to damage anything. All we're trying to do is put a deep breath in here to take that seat pressure off the mantle nut. A straight tip works better on your oxy, but this gouging tip is not doing too bad of a job. After it's cut all the way around, you put your flogging bar through the nut, and a few hard strikes with a hammer, and it should start to come undone. I'm going to be doing a complete video and a re-meddling of a cone crusher, so make sure you click and subscribe so you don't miss it.